Hello and welcome to our advanced pricing video. In this video, we will cover setting up locations, routes, regions, additional options, vehicle modification, and lead source. For information on setting up your basic pricing structure, please refer to our pricing basics video. The first topic we want to cover is the locations editor. Locations are a way of defining the areas where you want to control the price. Locations will be used with both routes and regions. The routes and region tabs are where you actually apply the discounts and surcharges. To add a new location, click on the new location link at the top of the screen and begin by creating a name for the location. Make sure the name you use is easy to identify for use elsewhere in the software. For example, if we want to control the pricing for Florida, we begin by creating a location named Florida. Next, we will choose from three location types, state level, city level, and zip code level. These three different ways of defining locations allow you to create a location that includes anything from a small area, such as part of a city, up to defining several states together as a single location. For our example, we're going to choose state level as our location type and click save and we now have defined our location. Notice we've also created a few other locations including New York and blackout states. Now we will use these locations to set up our routes and regions. Let's start with a route. As an example, let's assume it's the end of fall and we want to set up a small additional charge for people moving from New York to Florida for the winter. Since we've already created our locations, all we have to do is click on the route tab, then new route. For our from location, we will select New York and for our to location, we will select the newly added location Florida. Next, we will enter three cents for the carrier per mile fee. This three cents is the additional charge we are adding to the carrier per mile fee. Finally, notice the box that's labeled bi-directional. If we check this box, it means the carrier will get paid three cents per mile both from New York to Florida and from Florida to New York representing both directions. If you only want the surcharge to apply one way going from New York to Florida, then leave the box unchecked. We only want to charge them going from New York to Florida, so we will leave the box unchecked. Lastly, we hit save. We have now created a new route. Let's go try it out in our pricing calculator to make sure it's working like we expect. We will create a quote from New York, New York to Miami, Florida. Select a vehicle and click calculate price. Now let's click on the magnifying glass and you can see our route has added 3 cents per mile to the carrier fee. It's that simple. Next, let's take a look at setting up regions. Regions are a good way of adding fees in areas that are difficult to service or areas you can offer discounts where you may have a competitive advantage. In this example, we will set up an extra fee for our blackout states that are hard to service. For this example, we're going to choose a previously made location called Blackout States. You will notice that next to the location name, there are six states listed. This means that any pricing adjustments that you make will be applied to all of these states. Let's get started by selecting the Regions tab, then click on the New Region button. Now we need to choose the location we want to add a price to, in this case, Blackout States. Next, we select whether or not we want the price to be applied going into that area, out of the area, or both ways. We will choose both ways, mark the record active, add a carrier flat fee of $200, and hit save. This additional $200 fee will apply to all of your quotes that are shipped into and out of this region. Let's use the price calculator once again to test our new pricing changes. We will create a quote from New York, New York to Butte, Montana. Select a vehicle and click Calculate Price. Now let's click on the magnifying glass and you can see our region has added $200 for the carrier because it's coming out of New York and going into one of our blackout states. Next, we will look at additional options. Additional options will allow you to personalize your quote prices by creating additional discounts or surcharges for anything not already included in the above listed editors. For an example, we can add a military discount. Let's begin by clicking on the New Additional Options button and assign a name to the option you would like to offer. Let's create a military discount as an example. Enter military discount as its name in the first box and to make this option active, check the active box below the name. You can add descriptive notes here if you choose. For this example, let's offer a $25 discount off the deposit fee. To do this, enter minus 25 in the deposit flat fee box, then click save at the top and you're done. This optional discount will now appear as a checkbox when you're entering a quote or checking pricing. To apply the discount, simply check the box. Our next editor, Vehicle Modifications, will allow you to account for three common modifications to our vehicle types. 
those modifications are lifted, lowered, and oversized tires. To add on a fee or discount for these items, simply select the modification you wish to update. For this example, we will select lifted and we will add a $40 carrier flat fee to each vehicle type that this could apply to. Now, when entering a quote, you can select the modifications and apply that fee to the quote price. In this case, we will select lifted and click the save button. The fee that we just created will now be added on to the overall quote price. By using the pricing calculator on this quote, you can see where that fee was applied. The last pricing editor we will look at is Lead Source. This editor will allow you to adjust your pricing based on each of your lead sources. Within the industry, some lead providers may charge more or less for the price of their leads, or you may want to charge a different price for quotes generated in house. With this editor, you can apply flat fees or per mile fees by lead source. For this example, we will select our company as the lead source. Here, we will apply a $25 broker flat fee and click Save. Now, when a lead is received for our company, the additional $25 lead source fee will be applied to the overall quote price. Please make note that the auto pricing feature is now controlled from this screen and can be turned on and off separately for each lead provider. Checking the auto price box will allow for the software to automatically price the quote and send the quote instantly to the customer. Leaving the auto price box unchecked will allow for the software to automatically price the quote, but the quote will not be sent to the customer until you have had the opportunity to update and or approve the price. Once you have approved the price, the quote will be sent automatically to the customer. This concludes our tutorial on advanced pricing. Thanks for watching.